Hello guys, welcome back. It's just a gamer. We will continue this playthrough of Dying Light to stay human. Uh, last time we found the little girl who had, who had, he yeah, be terrifying when he uh, wanted to be. the Pretty weapon bad. from the previous commander of the Peakies, his keepers. And now that wasn't enough. We have to. Oh, we have to talk with her. Uh, Hakon, what we're gonna do next? Because we have to. At the end, we have to find the killer. So yeah, it wasn't enough. Okay, let's see. Let's talk and see what's what's next. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. So, talk to Sophie. Talk to Sophie about Lucas. Is everything all right? I can hear you a mile away. None of your business! Sorry about her. Save your sorry for Theodore. You better find him right now or else. Monica, maybe this is for the better. You don't get to tell me what's better. But I'm telling you, you better get Theodore out of there. Come on. Do you really want that? You think life is hell on Earth now? You wait and see how I make you feel if Theodore comes to any harm. Who's Theodore? Theodore is the most brutal motherfucker in the bazaar. Should be in a PK prison. Fuck you, Will. He's my boyfriend, not yours. So then, what happened that might be better this way? Yeah, tell him, Will. I... I couldn't watch. This brute hooking up with my sister and... Will, Lord Theodore, in a dark zone. And now he'll fucking go and get him out! Monica, wait. You're a pilgrim, right? That place is soaked with chemicals. Hell, Theodore's probably dead already. You want me dead too? Even if I manage to find him, the asshole will just kill me. Pilgrim, would you... Would you get that jerk out of there, please? Man, but you just said if he makes it out, he'll kill you. I have no choice. Look, there's more. I'm pregnant. I found out this morning. Theo doesn't know yet. Well, okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. He lives in an apartment on Old Shambles Street, about 200 meters north of here. Theodore should be on the first floor. Wait until nighttime. It'll be easier for you. Hopefully he's holed up somewhere away from the biters. And one more thing. I love Theodore, you know, but he really can be dangerous. Be careful. Okay, we found one more mission. But we have to wait for the night. Night. That's 30 meters under us.
Doesn't matter, we have to go to the bazaar. Oh well, he wasn't. Oops. Can I get inside? Is there other way to get in? Oh. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. Look at his arm. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. Okay. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember. Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Oh, that, oh, this girl. What a thought. A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? bad and getting worse settlements are shrinking in size and number i'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go doesn't surprise me son humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again and this is why we are here any more news not really but uh why don't you tell me more about your people we are called the people of the bazaar simply because of where we live but who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Utopia doesn't exist, my friend. There will always be people who will want more or something else. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? 
I don't like that metaphor. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Well, your character. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Yeah. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before Zero Hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. I will not ask too many questions. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Okay. Word on the rooftops is that water stocks are Let's search for the craftsmen. We already did some job for them. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Nope. Why? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. I don't go out of my way to call attention to myself. Another admirable trait. You're looking better and better for this job. Yeah, which is? But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarryand. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Hmm. Sometimes I wake okay. up and I forget the fall even Let's after. see what he has to give me. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. 
Okay then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. Okay, two missions. Just fairy tales, if you ask me. Got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's got to take Back care in of the day, I had a huge and, and, and massive. through the outlands. <laughs> Any other well, city still standing? Uh, Have you seen a ginger with a, a workshop? That bastard stole my yes, last box. a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Stay safe out there. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fuck! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney, and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, 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 hundred and twenty. Uh, uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. I invite you to browse. Okay. So Sophie lied to me that she needs a crystal. She actually want, wants me to find her brother. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition... He's a goner. 
I can try to track him down. You? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. Okay. Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him, I'd clear out before he pisses people off. So we have a couple of missions now. Inkle history teacher. Where is that? It's a far, far away. It's far away. Far away, far away. Journal, a side quest, all in the family. It's a again a night mission. So actually we can do that and well we can do that during the day. And missing person oh yeah. The ball's in your court. Oh, let's go do that. That's a near. Can I jump? Yes. Like I would like to do all uh, these missions. Where is that? Oh, I'm there. <coughs> Maybe there. I'm so quiet when I'm doing this. There, maybe I'm not there. Maybe this is not the place, or or maybe it is. He's somewhere there. Mm-hmm. Do I need to go up? Secret entrance. You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is. Oh. He told me to say Sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. 
Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. <laughs> Not bad. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> oh, no wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here, take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. So this is a military base? Yeah. They sprang up all over the city at the start of the outbreak. The base has a military side and a civilian side. <laughs> military side has the good stuff. The civilian side probably has more infected than loot. Look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong. Once you're inside, be careful. Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> That'll help against the biters that'll be camping out there. What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. Why do you work for Dodger? You need to ask. Same reason as you. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Dodger tips me off or I might find valuables and I go there. If I find some good stuff, I take a cut. A tiny one. A sliver. You know what vultures guys like Dodger are. It's barely enough to live on, but... Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. The worst is when Dodger gives me a bum lead. Then I get fuck all. That's happened more than once. No skin off Dodger's nose, though. He's got plenty of guys like me working for him. Okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. Not that I'm in a hopeless situation, but can you hurry? So... Three missions and all are the when the night fall. Okay, let's go and do the the windmill and the teacher thing. Oh, wrong way. I think I need more um, stamina. Yep. Need more stamina. So guys, we are here. We have to touch the monument. Hopefully nothing touch us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Hankel, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. Inhibitor container detected. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. You fucking with me? That over there. Inhibitor container detected. Don't let it run. Have this! <laughs> <laughs> We can imagine that people like this exist in this time. Like, okay, I know that totally an anacre, anacre, an anacre, anacre, blah, blah, blah. but still, like, not helping other people. Yeah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was... quite severe. Light the candle. Where? So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. 
Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Like why I cannot um this one because it's a new type of don't like the look <laughs> You don't see them, you just... You just hear them and... Where is the... Here. Nice, nice, nice. How many inhibitors? One. I need a lot more. So, while well, it's a day...
I was really thinking that I will be able to do this, um, so to say, dark zone. Everything is a dark zone now. That's dark. I need when it's dark. 150. Ooh. 550 reward. What's that? That's a lot of money. And I can buy something. Oh, who's that? The bandit that hit me. Ow. I cannot go there because I don't have enough well, there's a lot of uh, bandits But I cannot. Inhibitor container detected. I know, I know. So all I have to go like that. And do the map. The mission that mission the ball is in court okay and I have to be careful because of those dark hollow chance to find oh that's here should we Dodge in real life.
Nice. Lots of gold. And these shoes. And that's how my... I do not have more luck picks or crafting. I need scraps. I have a lot of scraps. Damn it. from there is not able to go wait why here is three wait where am I oh so I clean this up There's no way. Oh. There's something here. Or 
and there's something there but so There's something there. Oh. And now I cannot get up. Oh. A lot of gold. This? I don't know why I thought that these uh, places are harder to search. But actually not. So I have to go there. Oh. Wait, I want to help you, but man this game with the sounds I would have died you deserve a reward man Okay, that's it. No rewards. <laughs> Why I'm so so dumb. First try, right? <laughs>
Uh, I need the decoy to. Okay, I clean this. Hmm. So need help we'll be fine thanks what happened we heard a rumor about this garage we thought it'd be an easy score but we were wrong dumbasses hey hey at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some uv lights so what happened then further down the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected <sighs> barely made it out of there alive and then Part of a wall collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here. If you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. <sighs> not that way, at least. Well, thanks. What I got? Can you hear the noise Look, downstairs? Hey. That wailing? Yeah, like peacocks singing the hallelujah chorus. Must be hell. Ah! They don't attack on their own, but bring other infected running. Oh. Then one tree and the wailing infected appears. I'm so dumb. I Where here find jury containers? Oh, so someone was sleeping here and then the thing happened. Oh, here. Wait for him to turn around so I can kill him silently, hopefully. Because if he scream, Yeah. <laughs> 
Shut it up. I'm telling you, the sounds are making it even much worse. And you cannot play this game without the sun because... Hello. So stupid with his uh, sounds. Like I have to uh, put the volume down for my headphones because it's impossible to play this part of the game. <laughs> It's from the other side. So many things to loot. How much of the just need honey, honey, honey? So let's try to find the
Okay, let's see. Sound. Can I just get in? Okay. No, it's not that loud. That much. You know, it's some... In some, um, you know, you think it's not uh, important, uh, the scraps, but then... Where well, I saw that? Oh! I wasn't here? No, I came from here. I didn't saw him? Oh my god. Okay, I need... I don't want to think about it, because... I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Okay, Hubert told you about this. Let's go. Imagine to ha really to have to go like this. I mean, 
I would never, never in a million years go to something like this. Okay, that's a shortcut. And now I have to go. Not gonna turn on. Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. Inventory full. Let's see. What's this? That's uh, 26 damage. Let me see the inventory. 24 How can I see my oh yeah I have skill so because um that's the stunner and this is a power attack let's go that Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of risen glory cognac. And some cigars. Hmm, Cuban, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Do I turn on? Hmm. Let me see. Like that. Then a little bit like that. Uh. Oh, I could. Okay. What was safe? It was safe. And now these two will attack me, right? Wow, you 
made it. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. It was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? What's it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Mm. Why'd you attack him? Hubert was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. I don't know who I kill all, but... Oh, again! Nice! What now? Talk to Hubert about bandits. Okay. Hubert, 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 what have you done? Why the bandits are chasing you? Hello, Hubert. How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. But why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them. That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. Uh, what happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please... T take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. 
Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho Klaus. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. So let's go to the Dodger and see. I mean, I won't tell on him. Regular people like that. Nice. everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Let's see, Dodger. There's no time for delay. Tell you something. Just don't get offended. Hey, then, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't tug. Oh. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. You fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mm -hmm. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Half-Ast has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. 
curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? Oh, you're something else. But you still have a lot to learn, kid. You lied to me about Hubie. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience. Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you are still alive, neither do you, right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. Okay, okay. Some gold, parkour skill, nice. 550 gold I got. Parkour! Oh, that's. That's nice. From the bigger. Now it's so hard to see what I want to do next. I don't know why, but they look like. Oh my god, look at what I have. I'm dumb and I bought it. Oh my god. Chess piece I do not have. Oh my god, I bought it. I just need chess piece, right? I bought the wrong thing. Never mind. The rare chess piece. Right? And I have that. So now I can sell a lot of things. Okay. That wasn't that hard. Not hard, how to say it's not wasn't that I have money. So let's let's see what do we have here? Here is the missing person. The bazaar named Demon told me about this place. Want to earn money? It seems catchy at the best. Uh, sure. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you interested or not? Uh, 
I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Born and bred, if you must know. Then why haven't I ever seen you before? Couldn't say. We're tightly packed, but it's still a big city. I heard there's a new pilgrim in town. Not you by any chance. Uh, pilgrims are nomads. They don't have biomarkers, and I have one. Look. That's another thing. Heard a fellow almost got lynched at the bazaar. Didn't have a marker. Some say he was recently infected. Ring a bell? Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job, then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <laughs> Call him in, boys. <clears throat> It can be that the uh, Waltz is searching for me. is my mission confront Damien he is upstairs okay hey you you how, how 
How did she die? Oh, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? God damn it. All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. Where to look for... oh. Here. The guy was named Damien told about to look for Damien brother 6 meters from here. here no signs of cliff here damn it you don't think they he's not he's not dead is he don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. 
Then I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You'd do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I know I didn't exactly make a good impression, but please save him. Or is that? It's all over there. There's always too many of them. Why is the music so loud? It's because uh, Where is the... Oh, it's... Under... Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Oh. Uh. Okay, I cannot go through that. I cannot go through that. Sophie, it's Aiden. I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Investigation. Some information can be hidden in a plant site to discover... Discover it, you need to use the investigation mechanic to investigate per an area of PSQ to use your survivor sense and look around the clues. Follow the leads, okay. Oh. So you went... Sophie. I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Oh, uh, wait. I need that. How much does this shit weigh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I cannot kill them all. Fuck! Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't... <laughs> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie. I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great. So smoother than I thought. For some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Where now? Down there. Can I silent kill him all? Shut <laughs> up! 
go. The more. Well, I can. That's outside. Okay, let me see. There is some more crystals here. Somehow, hey, you find Bertie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly and following the trail. <laughs> He's down there. How many? Stop making noises. Without a fight. How many of you? Where are you, Bertie? So then you went up there. From there you went up there. sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. <coughs> It's my birthday today. 
Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Oh, soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Barney, you there? Barney? Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... He didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. He sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. So we have to go where? Back to bazaar. Hide Aiden. Don't stay out at night. That's when the monsters come out. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him and George. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Me? Hey? Let's see what's happening here. Where is she? We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think, but we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar, only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. 
You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Yep. Just ask. What do you want to know? That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Drunk people? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits, and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Okay. How much money? Almost two thousand. So, an item received has been placed in your player's stash. That's a missing person, a guy in Damien. That's a arrival. Carl insists that Sophie negotiate with Jack. And where is the. one that. In all Virinders fire sign you terrifying monster sound as been lagoon, but unlike the gods need to uh, that. I keep telling everyone Where is that? Oh, it's actually pretty near. We should be getting ready for winter. Anyway. I was trapped in a shop in now. I have to get out so I can hear my thought. Anyway guys, I believe this is a good place to stop the video. Please do like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Uh, sorry if it's taking too long or weird cuts, but this is open world game and it's... I cannot show you everything because then videos would be super super long and maybe boring for you. So thank you once again, be good, be positive, be good to each other, 
be spread love be safe i see you like always in the next one bye bye